All right, this is a um, counterbalance, self-balancing two-axis system, just not arranged in the two-axis one right now. This is the shorter y-axis, implementing a special um, parallel drive system using, a, using two gears here. The motor is actually mounted parallel to the drive shaft, as opposed to a system like this, where the motor is mounted in line with the drive shaft. The reason for this was um, an overall length requirement that could not we, we could not satisfy the travel requirements and still maintain the overall length if we put the motor in line. Thus, we came up with this little uh, doohickey. Um, this functions in two methods. There is a handheld controller here, um, which will let you do speed and direction for both axes and a little velocity control. So this will control the x-axis, the longer one. Right now when I press down on the button, it lets me know it's in motion, and I could change the speed on the fly by turning this knob. And the other way. Same thing with this one. Alright, likewise, there is an option on this thing to so go from auto to manual. Right now it's manual. If I put it in automatic mode, then that button no longer matters. Now, they are being controlled via an inclinometer. This inclinometer, the more it is tilted, the faster it will move the axes in either direction. It will respond to the other axis this way. Put this back in manual mode to quiet down. You can see the gears are very chattery, very noisy. Um, but in this manner, we created a system that will act as a self-balancing counterbalance um, with also an option for manual override with the handheld controller. Today is April 30th, 2014. There's Donnie.